Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. The Darkest Dungeon, the Darkest Dungeon. This is the Darkest Dungeon. Let's have a look at this. Because at the end of the last run, we didn't actually see what happened whilst we were away. Uh, Ellie had a night in the town and recovered 70 stress, but she will now only drink, which I was only making her do, so she's perfectly happy to continue to only drink. Marie has recovered 70 stress. Bagel has no longer got haemophilia and Raikuda leveled up as a result of the mission that we took. Which means we should have some space here. Everyone's free here, that's really good. So we can think about doing some high level missions at some point, but we've been stagnating down here for so long, I'm extremely excited, well not extremely excited, that may be over egging the pudding, to do something else. I kind of want to keep playing in the ruins, but the cove, you know, it's 90% of rooms. The thing about the cove, is there's so much protection in it. We've got, and, and bleed resist. We really need blighty people, so we should maybe think about taking Marie. Now I think Marie would be a good uh, option for the Sonorous Prophet, as well as Dutch, because Marie, ah, instead of Dutch, that's a shame. The thing is we need the Vestal in one of these two positions, right? Preferably this one, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, it's either the back or the third position. Can't be in the second position here. Marie also needs to be in the back and the second position. And in the same two positions. So we can't put three people in those two positions. So unfortunately, it's either Marie or Dutch. And I think it has to be Dutch because Dutch has the debuffs, whereas Marie's got damage over time. So Duff, D Duff. <laughs> well, that shows how I feel about Dutch's abilities. Dutch's sniper shot with the plus crit and plus damage and the mark that we can keep up with the stack end of the negative dodge and the mark which we can probably use with Dark Trojan here which does 90 damage per mark but it doesn't actually reach the back. Is there anybody else who can do damage to the back with on a marked unit? Yes, this one. Which you, can't, which you can use from here. So I'm tempted to say we should probably take Erasmus. New Erasmus. We should try and level new Erasmus, or just old Martinez, who doesn't have Thrown Dagger, but it's cheaper to buy it than it is to level an entire new unit up. Or, do you have something? We don't have a, a Houndmaster down here, and I think Houndmaster would be able to do something in that situation. But since Dutch is basically the only person who can hit the back and do damage with Mark, I'm thinking maybe it's not ideal. Whereas Marie could just constantly do a shitload of damage all the time. And can cure blights and bleeds, but... We need tankier people, to be fair, so actually... Maybe Erasmus with a good amount of dodge... Is a good idea. Alright. Let's level Erasmus up. Because if nothing else, we'll then have two grave robbers in the same place. So, sorry Raikuda, you did recently level up, so we're going to bring Erasmus instead... But otherwise, we're going to keep the party the same. Uh, Brian is now level 2. Maybe that's wrong. Like, not ideal, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, I'm half tempted to just dismiss Brian, but because we've put so much effort in, it's kind of a sunk cost fallacy going on here. Although, we don't want to take that to the cove. Let's take Marie to the cove. Marie deserves a trip out, and we like to have some blight damage for a cove run. So this seems good. Uh, Erasmus has poison darts. Only in that position. Oh, that's a shame. We can always shadow fade and dance around a bit. Shadow fade and then lunge. You know, poison darts, shadow fade, lunge. By that time, Zeke will have used some healing, so we should be okay. Let's see how it goes. Uh, and of course, this has a remove blight and bleed, which is excellent. So you're going to stay there if possible. Take a couple more shovels, but well, a couple of shovels, not necessarily a couple more shovels. It's a short mission, so it should be a short episode, especially if we run away, which is not unlikely. Um, and I think we take some of these, just in case we get so much bleed that we can't actually get around to letting Marie fix it for us. Um, and the medicinal oibs is going to help. And do we need a key? I guess if we find one of those chests. But I think we... Oh! Trinkets! Dude, you suck. Fine. We're not taking trinkets, apparently. Most people, the people that matter, 
already have them. It's only uh, it's only the two we replaced that have them. So Zeke has still got the important ones, and uh, Brian still has the important ones. Oh, 90% of rooms. That's going to involve a considerable amount of backtracking. And we did want to get rid of Brian's new quirk, actually, which I forgot about. But I suppose maybe the cove doesn't count as an enclosed space where the warrens and the ruins probably do. These are all the same. So I think we start with the play grenade, which can hit multiple things. Both blighted. Both going to die slowly over time. Poison darts, not yet. So just do damage versus marks. We didn't bring any mark. Which is a shame. I guess we improve our accuracy as we do it. That's pretty good damage, actually. Are you dead? Not quite dead. This is always the case. Your damage over time is always one space away. Which is kind of a pest. Can we just kill it? We can, if we hit it. Amazing. I did say in the last episode that I would like maybe for Brian there to have... Um... We should stun the one that's going to die. It doesn't matter. Um, we'd like Brian to have the trinket that improves his melee accuracy. So we should definitely do that. And then we can see whether the percentage is a percentage or percentage points. Because 5% of 80 is like 4. 5% on its own is 5, right? So we will learn whether... It is the one or the other. We just throw daggers, I suppose. Could kill this, which I think is worthwhile, even though it does have a damage over time on it. So if the trinket gets him up to 84, it's 5%. And if the trinket gets him up to 85, it's 5 percentage points. And I suspect it's 5 percentage points, otherwise it would be really awkward. But then you'd expect this pair of stuff here. Pilfered jacket. Nice. Um, you'd expect this pair of things here to be, you know, plus 25 plus 33, which is, you know, 58. Right? Good good dodge, I suppose. Begrudging acceptance of my fate. Begrudging respect for my enemy's prowess, I suppose. What are we doing here? We've got eight damage, so you're going to take two hits. So if we actually hit you, or crit against you, and you die immediately. Okay, good. That was my plan all along, but I didn't like to jinx it. Amazing, some stuff. We'll use that torch soon enough, so we don't need to worry about the inventory space it is taking up. And this is a medicinal herb situation, so we will do so. Compulsive quirk removed. Probably should have made Brian do that. Alright, remember that as well. We're learning, we're learning, we're learning. That is the important thing. Let's go in here, please. Thank you. It will possibly remove a quirk, I expect. It's probably not guaranteed to remove a quirk. It may have other you know, valuable effects. But What can we hit with Shadow Fade? Just the front two. Maybe we buff our accuracy first and try and do some damage to the thing we're not a fan of. And then we play Grenade this. What are you on? Six. Five. Okay, so again, we're in that situation where it's not going to die in one turn. But it's going to guaranteed... It's going to get a turn guaranteed... Uh, maybe we can kill it. So I suppose we start doing some damage to these. Wow. Definitely bring a leper in this place in future. In fact, leveling up Brian seems like a stupidly good idea right now. Let me do this. Perfect. I didn't want that to have a go. And I don't mind that we basically overkill by 12 damage. It's just done. Okay, you guarded you. Which is silly. But possibly also sensible. Because now, I mean, I was attacking that, right? And now I can't. But also it means that I can attack this one via this one. So really? Don't give a shit. I'm actually happy for Erasmus to be here. We can't replace his... Um, you know... Because we haven't unlocked any of them. Not because we're in combat. But... In that position with this party, this is actually turning out really well. And I'm not sure whether to believe that or whether it's <laughs> just because um, we've got... We're doing the low-level cove mission, right? I don't know whether that's the deal here. Can, can Zeke have a go, please? So if we attack this, that one gets a lot of damage. Five. Okay. Say a lot of damage. I guess that was a low roll. 
There is a huge range for that thing. Why is Erasmus being attacked all the time? Why has Zeke still not had a go? Come on now. There we go. Crit. Crit. Perfect. That just basically undid all you sons of the bitches damage so far. Uh, I would like to stun you, which will probably stun the other one. That's right. It moves us back and reduces Zeke's ability to do damage. That's okay. Uh, not damage, to undo damage. That's fine. Uh, I don't mind that. So we're not just blast... Oh, the guards come off. That's great. So in the unlikely event that these things are still alive, Erasmus has a couple more options. Okay. I mean, nothing... This is the only one that's going to survive. It's going to have anything to do. So... I guess we damage it. You're definitely dead. You're not definitely dead. Now you're definitely dead. So, we didn't need to do the shuffling around that we did, but it did get Erasmus in the position where we could stack up another damage over time if we wanted to, and in fact you are not dead. Crit mod 10%. So that allows us to do that. Maybe we should do that early. I don't know. I mean, I genuinely do not know whether we should do that early or not. Um, why don't you step back into your position, though? Brian. Put this shovel in this giant oyster. The shovel prevents well, the oyster from closing. Measure. Book of Rage. Awarded to the brave and okay. The foolhardy alike. That seems bad. All these trinkets seem a lot worse than I feel like they should. One, two... I mean, the... the negative effects of them seem to be a lot they seem to more than compensate for the positive effects of them which means I don't really want to I'm not going to use my other shovel, that would be silly there's a trap there by the way we dodged it but still uh, just in case there is a uh, an obstacle which would be bad I don't really fancy coming all the way back to this curio if it turns out we still have a yeah, eat, eat and be merry um, it's still a uh, shovel left at the end. I don't want to walk all the way back to that, but hopefully there'll be another barnacle chest closer to our final room. Explore, explore, explore. Nothing in here. Tremendous. We are there, so which means we can go back here quite safely. Yeah, Brian's not taking any stress with claustrophobia on, so why are you taking just generally stress? Um, so I'm guessing claustrophobia is not procking here. I guess it's open enough. Although, we are in a cave. Maybe it's a big enough cave. I'm hoping I'm audible, by the way. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Another one, thanks. I'm just having a look at my waveforms, and the... The v variety, the spread of amplitude is huge. I mean, in post, I'll fix it, but... I don't know whether it actually comes back together. No one said anything, so I'm guessing it's okay, but... It just looks odd. I like having a little readout of what I'm doing as I do it. All I want to do is do it. Big girls, big girls. Ah, oh, Kevin and Perry. What's that, 2004? 2003? Pretty sure I was at school. Which dates me as well as it. Let's not talk about that. It's not like I learned anything then and I haven't learned anything since. Apart from... My, my ability to retain information is second to none as a result of the rote learning that I did in order to satisfy. Oh, uh, something to do. Let's talk about this. Stress wave. Not great. 15 is not that good. Um, we don't have a camp. <laughs> uh, I don't need to mention that necessarily, but I'll bring it up because not having a camp means that we can't get rid of that stress. Um, I suppose we just do what we seem to be good at. And you probably want to... Can you shadow fade anything at the back? No. Try and do damage to the one that's closest to death. The one that's furthest from death, which will still be in death range. No, this one. Okay, it's not even remotely in death range, so well done. Points are trying, but... So we stun this one. It has had a go. Well, do we try and... What's this one? Six. We can remove its dodge, which doesn't help, but... Our damage, minimum damage is three, so we just have to hit. Which is a one in four chance that we're not doing. 
We did do it, so you're dead. All right, I'm happy with that. I, I like it when I can just dismiss an entire unit as dead. This is gonna kill if it hits. Which is why I now understand what the leper is for. But it does appear to have a sort of a high stress sort of situation going on. I don't know actually, I'm not quite sure what the negative properties of the leper are. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, why don't you get some revenge for that? There you go. Straight in the chest and it only four damage, but you're dead, so who cares. Um, no one's bleeding. Great. I mean, maybe it's just the limitation of the options of skill, though Hugh is brilliant. We should unlock Hugh on Brian. We just keep doing this damage. Look at this. Everything is now dead, for sure. Oh, show. No one needs healing. Not really. Just kill it. There goes your guard. Look at her standing there like ain't no thing. Here. Have some HP. Thanks. No problem. Fuck it. <laughs> Die. Done. I mean, those skills that Erasmus has in that position are not the best skills that Erasmus has altogether. So pretty damn good skills. Ooh, quite a long scout, although it's covered up by the scouting thing. I might come back to this barnacle chest here. I might not. Should he maybe use a torch? Don't think it matters, to be fair. Right, now we have an interesting situation, because the plague grenade that we have is not going to hit two things. So maybe we just Noxious Blast, or even disorient one of them. I think we just Noxious Blast one of the front ones. Shadow Fade one of these, try and kill it. And then lunge at it, uh, sorry, try and stun it, and then lunge at it later. It's got... Basically, fuck all stun resistance, and yet we nevertheless managed to fail. I understand that 10% is not 0%, and there's a 1 in 10 chance that we fail to stun something, but... Come on. You know? Come on. Come on. Uh, now I'm a bit upset that I moved Erasmus, because now Zeke can't heal Erasmus, but... You live and learn. Okay, you just die. One shot. Done. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I don't care. Not listening. Might as well play grenade back one. What are you on? Eight. So any damage done to you will kill you. Provided we do it first, I guess. Which we don't. But whatever. Dodge? Eh. Plenty of protection on that unit, so I don't mind too much. That's what I wanted to do. So, like first, basically. A speed increase for a, uh, a grave robber is probably really useful. Let us... Withstand, I suppose. I've forgotten to start fights with buffs, and that's what I was doing quite a lot for a while. But I think now, especially on these low level runs where everyone seems to be doing fine. Uh, okay. <laughs> Here you go. Where everyone seems to be doing fine. Oh, the, the corpse resisted the stun. Actually, buffing on the first round doesn't actually seem that useful necessarily. Just get rid of this damn corpse, will you? Maybe I should have got Marie to do that so that we could have ended this fight by now. Um, but I think we just ended this fight anyway, so who gives a shit, right? Just do a, a quick party heal to keep everyone topped up. That's a good roll. That's the sort of roll I like to see. With the massive amounts of extra bonus that we've got going on. Sweet. And you haven't run out of daggers yet, which is nice. Ah. Aha. 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 Ha, ha. We now have two. Clearly in view. No touching. It, a trick of the light? it is not a trick of the light, Wayne. We're doing really well. Especially since we forgot trinkets and Erasmus is still level zero, I think. Yeah. It's obviously taking a lot of stress. The way is but lit. I think we the can invest in this clear. unit without we require worrying that we're misspending to, some extent, to any extent, really. Uh, our cash. Also, I named the unit, so... Let's not collect ourselves. Cats don't talk, so hello. We are done. We'll continue adventuring. There's a room battle with treasure, which is really exactly what I want right now. Uh, yes, a barnacle chest. Let's open it. Aha. 
handsome okay, cool. reward. Uh, task well performed. Yoink. Thank you. Taking a bit of extra um this will be helpful for your stress. Don't get hit. Good. That's our last torch, which is perfect timing, I would say. And that's exactly why I brought the key. This has turned out really well. That 125 gold there, you know, is... It's a fledgling. It's a seed of a gold stack. Right, so I think I want a shadow fade now. No. Maybe. Could just throw a dagger at this joker. There you go. Enjoy. Here, have some more damage. So are you dead? No, because you did one damage. Every time, man, every time. That's okay. Uh, maybe we just sort of dazzling light something. Take this one out of the picture. Uh, we might as well just do that then, right? Get some torch. Debuffs it as well. 20 dodge. Pretty good. How much damage are you going to do? Not all of it. This could kill it. I mean, we should try, and we succeeded. The range of rolls on that is huge, but... I guess it's fine. You're going to die anyway, even though you're guarded, so... That was a waste of a move for that thing, as far as I'm concerned, which is... I mean... I, <laughs> I don't think I've said anything that you couldn't have figured out for yourself. As far as I'm concerned, maybe... Underselling it. To some extent. Marry, do some of this sort of damage. Honestly, I was expecting Marie to have more time spent healing. Five is nothing, man. What are you doing here? But, uh, it's okay. Might have to shadow fade this thing just to get in range. Uh, I'm not honestly concerned about the heals at this stage, so... One to two, or one to one and a stun. We might as well one to one and a... Possible stun, yeah. Gives us a free go when this will just guaranteed take four damage. So now we Shadow Fade it. It's already stunned, but again, not concerned about HP at this stage because we're leaving soon. Um, you might as well put more dots on it. You might as well hit it again for twice the damage you did last time, which just goes to show how widespread that is. Uh, and just finish it. <laughs> Essentially finish it. There we go. Take all that. Yes, please. Unforgiving. Uh, open this. With the key in it. We get some free stuff. All of which we can take without filling that up. I will take the time to go back and use our final shovel on the thingy. Maybe we'll get lucky and have another fight. We've got one shovel left, right? Yes. It's not this one, but it's this one. So it is a bit of a walk. So um, let's just talk about... What was I talking about before? Derision for the education system? My ability to rote learn anything that is valuable or not. Oh, well, that's not quite true. Apparently, I can't learn what the curios do. Um, what the dungeons have in them, so that I know what party setup to take. No, 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 no. There's food already. If you want food, you can have food. <sighs> Brian, what made you do that? Obsessed with food. But you didn't go... No, whatever. So, the education system has not even given me sufficient... It's not equipped me with sufficient mental acuity to even remember the things gold. that I'm doing. Well, there's some stuff. Let's go home. It wasn't the greatest chest in the world, but it was pretty good. Don't care how much we got. Let's uh, open all of these, please. Thank you. you have now become a drinker only. This is... Very nice indeed, but we lost natural swing, and it doesn't tell me what that used to do, so I don't really necessarily care. That's a problem, but that's really good. I kind of want to burn that in, but we can't afford to by any means. Three crit if HP below 50%. I assume that applies to heals as well, so if you're hurting, you can probably you get a good, a better chance to crit heal yourself. And more heal skills while camping means that maybe Marie is going to be a very good option for... Uh, runs that actually involve camp camping, so... Okie dokie. Uh, nothing happened. We didn't have anybody in for anything. 
and a curse upon I mean, do we want to get rid of not really psycho why aren't you getting de-stressed can you do this do you get a bonus from anything no. don't forget there are some units that have camping skills that can remove diseases so that might be good so I mean it's possible that that would be a good idea to, to get them to join us on a, a trip or maybe somewhere in like the weald where we're likely to get diseases anyway and recover from something as bad as when uh, I think it was Ash or D had haemophilia or someone like that and then just we couldn't keep up, keep up with the healings anymore because the bleeds were so prevalent. So we've got 8,000, which is not enough. But I would like to do a... A Sejairus run. Sejairus is basically useless in every position. But the only one that's any good is Invinigorating Vapors. So we're going to want to sacrifice our rear unit for Sejairus. So Marie is out. Apologies for that. Sejairus is in, and we're still leveling Zeke up. Although we're nearly at level 2, which is exactly where we want them to be. Brian is about to possibly leave level 2 for level 3. So maybe we try and take... I don't know. <laughs> maybe we take... Uh... We can't take Viz because he won't go out with Ziki. Which is true of most people. No offence, Ziki. Well... Technically some offence. I mean, I wouldn't have said it if I meant no offence because it was a, a joke at your expense. An offensive joke at your expense. Um, I think... I think we'll leave this until the next episode to figure out because we may have changed the options here, but I would like to get a Vestal... No, uh, fucking, we've got plenty of goddamn Vestals now. A Hellion down at this level again. There isn't an option for one, but there's now actual level 1 Vestals here, which is just taking slightly the piss, if I'm being honest. May get rid of this Homesy and bring in a new Homesy. Go away. The task ahead is terrible. That one and that one and is what we want. Cannot be tolerated. No splash is not that good. You're not going to be a tank. Self heal, and it hits something for a bit less damage. That seems like a good one. That was you, right, Fitzherbert? Yeah. Fitzherbert, welcome to the party. You have replaced. Excuse me. A sister of battle. Pious and unrelenting. You are Holmesy. I do have a new name for the roster, so the next time somebody dies, we will be introducing a new name. But I just wanted at that point to replace old Holmesy with new Holmesy. I might put Bagel in for some for a quick uh, drink as well. But that'll do it for this episode. Uh, in the next episode, I expect that we will go to the Cove. Oh, I might try this Sodden Crew, to be fair. I think. Uh, Ziki is now up to it. I mean, he's only level 1, but he'll definitely... Well, okay, let's do the Sonorous Prophet. That will definitely help. That means no Sejairus. So by level? No? Let's spec this out. We're going to do Sejairus. Dutch. Martinus. Can you hit the back? With Poison Darts, yes. Let's spec you out of... Shadow Fade and into Throne Dagger. No. Out of Lunge. Shadow Fade. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to spec Martinus out of Shadow Fade and into Throne Dagger. Which we're going to give to the fullest extent of our ability. This one can also get upgraded. This one will stay where it is. This is only going to be for the combat on the way to the boss. So we'll turn off Shadow Fade and turn on Throne Dagger. This will be your... Excuse me? Why are you preferred to be in this position? Ah, Poison Darts is only from there. Think of that. That can't hit the back. Damage versus Mark, though. Right, this, this should be okay. With Duchess Mark... And Martinez's damage versus Mark. Both of them will be stabbing the back with full damage. Then we'll take Brian, who has done extremely well so far. Maybe we'll respec Brian as well. 
with Q could be nice. Like, nothing Brian does can hit the back. But he can move in, maybe move into a position to tank some damage that otherwise would land on Zeke. As can Dutch. Uh, I know I said about two years ago that this would be it for this episode, but in fact what I'm doing is planning for the next episode. So, it's time to retry this boss. We know what we're doing. We're going to move out of the way whenever those beams of light come down. And hope, like, obviously Zeke can work his magic in the back position, so everyone can move enough, I think, except for Erasmus, uh, Martinez this time, of course, who is kind of useless in any other position, but we'll have to just deal with that. I guess we do it. So thank you for watching, and <sighs> are you ready for the next one? I'll see you then.